There are literally thousands of miles of public beach in America. Each year, millions of people visit this sandy domain to relax and engage in recreational activities. Most of the time, the beach is a safe place, but sometimes it can be cruel and deadly, especially to those individuals who are not aware of the many hidden dangers. Hi, I'm Mary Waite, and it's my privilege to present some very important information about beach safety and about a very special club, the United States Life Saving Association Silver Dolphin Club. Why did we choose the name dolphin? Because dolphins are highly intelligent creatures and have been known to rescue drowning people. If you pay close attention to this video and learn the safety recommendations at the end, you can become a member of the USLA Silver Dolphin Club. To help us learn more about beach safety, we have Sonia and Mark. Here they are getting into the family car. But wait a minute, they're forgetting something. Do you know what? They're forgetting protective t-shirts, sunglasses, and sunscreen to prevent skin cancer and eye injuries, which can result from sun exposure. Oh, and they almost forgot a thermos of water. They'll need this to replace important body fluids. Always take protection to the beach. Wait a minute, Mark and Sonia are forgetting something again. Do you know what it is? They passed the condition board and a warning sign without reading them. Before going into the water, you should always stop at the condition board to see if there are any hazards that you should be concerned about. Also, check to see if there are any warning signs and always note the condition flags. On some beaches, special warning signs are posted to warn bathers about dangerous conditions. This sign means that there are man of war present. This one tells you that there are rocks lying just below the surface. Some beaches also have special flags to inform bathers about swimming conditions. The green flag means good swimming, the yellow flag means caution, and the red flag tells you there is danger. Don't go swimming if you see the red flag. Sometimes a blue flag is used to indicate the presence of man o' war or jellyfish. Learn to recognize signs and flags. Uh oh, Sonia and Mark just overlooked something very important. Do you know what it was? They didn't notice this unguarded beach sign, and they selected a beach area that does not have a lifeguard. Whenever you go to the beach, always go to an area with a lifeguard. Lifeguards are highly skilled men and women who are there to help you if you should get into trouble. Always swim near a lifeguard. Mark is making a mistake that could be fatal. Diving headfirst into shallow unknown water could result in serious spinal injury. Each year, a number of bathers who make the same mistake are paralyzed from striking the ocean bottom or some hard object just below the surface. To prevent this from happening to you, always walk into the surf or jump in feet first. But wait, Mark is still doing something that isn't safe. Do you know what it is? He's swimming alone. One of the most important rules about swimming is never swim alone. Never swim alone. As you can see, if you follow the safety rules, the beach is a fun place. But what happens if you get into trouble? The following is a dramatization of what to do if you get caught in a rip current or begin to drown. Here we see a swimmer who has accidentally become caught in a rip current. The most important thing for him to do is not to panic. First, he should relax and try to swim back to shore. If the current is too strong and he's unable to swim back in, he should ride the current further out until it weakens. All rip currents weaken further out. He should swim parallel to the beach for a distance and then back in. 
If he begins to get tired and can't swim into shore, he should wave his hands for help in the direction of the lifeguard. The lifeguard will be able to help the swimmer back to shore. Now, let's see how you can help a drowning person. Suppose you saw someone fall into the water and begin to drown. Would you know what to do? First and most important, never go in after the victim because you could also drown. Immediately call for help, dial 911 or get an adult. Then look around for a suitable object to either throw to the victim or reach to the victim. If you throw an object, it should float and should be able to help keep the victim above the water. An empty plastic gallon jug works well. If you use a reaching object, you should use a long sturdy tree branch, a 2x4, a long piece of rope, a ladder, or something similar. Let's review what you should do if you see someone drowning. Number one, call for help. Dial 911 or get an adult. Two, find a suitable object to reach or throw. Three, talk to the victim. Keep him calm so he doesn't panic. And four, never attempt to rescue yourself. It is too dangerous. To help you learn how to aid a drowning person, we have a class of students working to become USLA Silver Dolphin Club members. Half of the class will be inside the rope, which is our imaginary lake. The other half of the class will be the rescuers. Help! 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 We're drowning! Help us! Help! 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 Help us! Help! Please! Help us! Help me! Help! As you can see, they have learned their lesson well. Once this video is over, you can practice as these students have done. As a member of the Silver Dolphin Club, it is your responsibility to learn what to do. Remember, practice makes perfect. Now let's go back to the beach to see what Sonia and Mark are doing. It looks like they're about ready to go. But wait a minute, they're forgetting to do something. Do you know what it is? That's right, they're forgetting to throw away their trash. You should always remember to keep the beach clean and beautiful for everyone to enjoy. Did you know that some types of trash can cause injuries to animals that live on the beach? A plastic container can accidentally strangle a bird and a plastic bag can be mistakenly eaten by a sea turtle. Broken glass can cause a serious cut as well. This is why you should never litter. Now that our day at the beach has ended, let's see if we can remember some of the safety rules we've just learned. Number one. Always take sun protective gear with you to the beach. Two, drink plenty of fluids. Three, always swim near a lifeguard. Four, read the condition board and look for warning signs to learn about hazardous water conditions. Five, never dive in shallow or unknown water. And six, don't panic in a rip current. Very good, you are excellent learners. Now let's see if you can remember what to do if you see someone in trouble in the water. First, call 911 or get help. Then look for a nearby object to throw or reach to the victim. Talk to the victim to keep him calm. And remember, never go in the water after the victim. Very good. We've learned a lot of important things today. You're almost ready to become a member of the United States Lifeguard Association Silver Dolphin Club. But first, you must promise to always keep the beach clean and beautiful. To learn more about beach safety and life saving, you may want to learn CPR, a valuable life saving technique, or you may be interested in becoming a USLA junior lifeguard. Every summer, a number of beaches across the country conduct junior lifeguard programs. Not only are they fun, but junior lifeguarding will teach you many more specific skills about beach safety and life saving. Now that you're a member of the United States Lifeguard Association Silver Dolphin Club, we hope you enjoy the beach even more. But remember, 